I don't know anybody who's been successful who hasn't failed. I mean, it's failings is part of life. I mean, um, I think I'm probably the few coaches ever talked about failure before we failed. We used to have meetings in the team room about, well. <laughs> if we lose this game, what are we going to do? There's no point losing game of rugby and then Saturday afternoon at five o'clock in the changing room, how are we going to handle this? What are we going to do? So we used to talk about failure. And, and the key thing is planning for it. So when you do fail, you know how to handle it and handle it quickly. So it's not this massive big, big fallout. So, you know, what happens when you, without being too glib, what happens when you win the big deal? You know, everyone down the pub, Friday night, big success. Wow, we've won the big deal. Massive overreaction. Then what happens when you lose the big deal? Everyone in Monday morning, 8 o'clock, massive. What happened? Big overreaction. What I learned to do was flip that. So in other words, when you lose the big deal, go down the pub, don't overreact. When you win the big deal, everyone in, 8 o'clock Monday morning, why did we win? Why do we win? What are the key points? How can we do it even better? You know, and you hear these terms, you know, like marginal gains and under things 1% better. That's all that is. So, yes, you can learn from failure, but I don't think people learn from success anywhere near as much as they should do. Mm-hmm.